Hi, this video looks at the industrial preparation of ethanol, uses of ethanol and uses of methanol. Okay, there are two industrial ways to produce ethanol. The first one we're going to look at is fermentation of sugar glucose. So here we've got C6H12O6, that's glucose which is taken from plant carbohydrates. We use yeast which is and it uh, contains enzymes which are the biological catalyst of this reaction. The Ideal temperature is about 37 degrees centigrade. It must be in anaerobic conditions, no oxygen present. Otherwise we won't make the desired product. So here we make two moles of ethanol and two moles of CO2. Now, this process will only produce ethanol up to about 14% concentration. Okay, So this process is used to make things like beer and wine. It's used to produce alcoholic drinks. Um, the reason it doesn't go any higher concentration than that is because the ethanol that's produced will start to kill the uh, enzymes in the yeast and stop the process continuing. Advantage of this process of producing ethanol is that the glucose from the plant carbohydrate it, uh, obviously costs plants and is a renewable resource. So when we need more, we can just grow more plants. And when you grow the plants, they're taking CO2 in the process of, of growing. So if you use it for combustion, for example, and you see CO2 produced, some, not all of it, but some of it would be taken in by the plants as they grow. Disadvantages. Like I said before, the ethanol produced is uh, only 14% by concentration. So if you wanted to just get the ethanol by itself, you'd have to distill it to remove it from the aqueous solution, remove it from the water, and that takes a lot of energy. The atom economy here is not 100%, we're producing carbon dioxide as well, so we haven't got a 100% atom economy. So if we wanted to improve the atom economy, we'd have to find a use for the CO2 as well. And another problem is that although it is a renewable resource, to grow enough uh, plants to produce enough ethanol, we'd have to take up cropland as well. So that land that which had originally been used to grow crops for food will be used to grow plants for fuel instead and this is going to cause food prices to increase and that's going to affect the poorest people the most. Okay, so the other method is hydration of ethene. So ethene, which is an alkene, the simplest alkene, C2H4, um, that is reacted with steam because at these temperatures 300 degrees that, that you know, water would definitely be steam and uh, that needs an acid catalyst, a phosphoric acid and pressures of about 60 atmospheres and here we produce um, one mole of ethanol. This, if you see the ethanol here, it's not aqueous, it's liquid so we haven't got any water in here so we've got a high concentration, very high concentration of ethanol here and that is used to make solvents to dissolve things. So it's using things like methylated spirits. Methylated spirits are uh, mostly ethanol, but they contain a little bit of methanol as well, so that if, if you did drink them, they're actually um, very toxic, stop people using them as alcoholic drinks. But they, they can be used very effectively as solvents in many different uses. This reaction is actually reversible, because you can dehydrate ethanol back to ethene. So these conditions help the reaction go this way, but also um, any gases that don't react can be recycled and fed back into the process to be re-reacted. Um, advantage of this, you can see that the atom economy is 100%. There's only one product produced, which is the desired product. The ethanol does not need to be separated from water because it's not aqueous, it comes in a liquid form. But the disadvantage is ethene, this is the main disadvantage, comes from crude oil, that's a finite resource. So eventually that will run out and we won't be able to do this process. And also high temperatures are needed, 300 degrees centigrade, so it's a high energy requirement. Okay, so we looked at the uses of ethanol there in alcoholic drinks from fermentation, but also solvents, methylated spirits from the hydration of ethene. Other uses of other alcohols, another important alcohol that we, know, that we look at a lot is methanols, CH3OH. It's a petrol additive because it improves combustion. If you mix this with your petrol, methanol contains a lot of oxygen for the amount of carbon that's there, so it's sort of helping 
uh, complete combustion occur. So you get improved combustion because of the, there's oxygen being brought to the reaction. So less oxygen needs to come in from the air to the engine. Um, it's also uh, a good feedstock in the production of organic compounds. It's a small molecule which is used to make other organic compounds, larger organic compounds in many different uses. Okay, so that's the uses of methanol.